Hello friends, today I am going to draw a spark here using some data and data. Now first of all, we click on the circle from draw to work and uh, specify the center point. You can also type 0, 0 at the center and now I specify the uh, radius of this circle. I will assign it 50 mm. And uh, here are some background lines are visible so to hide this you can directly type the F7 key from your keyboard. Now offset this circle or make the number circle. I will offset this. So click the offset from modify toolbar and specify the offset distance. I will select it as 5 mm. Enter. Click on the object and click outside and then click on the object and click inside here is kept this and now draw a line from this quadrant the circle to the center now let's get this uh, this uh, center circle is also known as the piece diaphore here and the outer circle is the addendum circle and the inner is the dedendum, dedendum. Here you can offset this line also, so type O, enter, and just click on the offset in modify toolbar, specify the distance of offset, I will assign it 1.5, enter, click on the object left side, click on the object, click right, and to copy this uh, previous command you can directly type by space or enter, and now I will change the Offset distance 4 mm and enter. Click the line left side on the object and the right side. I escape this. Now make the arc to draw arc 3 point arc. Take this from a draw toolbar and click on this intersection as a first point and this intersection is second point and this is a third point. You can uh, mirror this or you can also draw this again. To mirror this, click this, and here you can choose the mirror. Specify the mirror line so you can click here. Here now, click enter. You can see the mirror. Now delete the unwanted lines. Click them and delete. Click this circle and delete. And trim this outer line. To trim this T R enter and then enter and you can also select the trim from this uh, modify toolbar and, and now we need to fill up this corner to fill up this select this fillet or just type the f enter and to specify the radius just to type r enter and give the radius of 2 mm enter now select this first object and second object and then to copy this previous command press Space. Now click the first object and the second object. Here you can see. So this is done. And uh, now just delete this also. And now add this profile. To add this, click on the arrow from modify or just type AR, enter, and select the polar arrow. Now specify the center point. I will choose this as a center. And uh, here you can see you can uh, type the I or just click on this I terms and specify the number of items. I will assign it 20 and click enter. Now sketch this. You can see the 20 number of codes. And uh, now we need to close this line. I will take the line from the toolbar and click on this line, first point. This line is second point. Scan this. Then we need to fill this gap also. So uh, to do this quickly, we can just select this and array. And here specify the center point. And this specify the center as well. Yeah. Now type I for items and click the 20 number of items. We can do. You could see the gear is ready almost. And now, here you can see we cannot extrude this 
our array so first of all we need to select this and explore this using this explore command or you can just type x enter to explore this also. you can see these are uh, separate now to join them again you need to make it reason r is -E for reason and click on and enter and you can see these are the join and now explore this region. Type ext for extrude, press enter, and select the line, and enter, and then specify the distance of i. Uh, you can specify the distance. Sorry, uh, I need to make a hole inside this gear, so I will, I will make another circle. So to create the hole, specify the center for the circle, and keep the radius of circle, I will assign it 20 mm. Now to make a keyway inside this hole, we need to draw a line from center. Just click on the center, and uh, to make it a state, you just click on the F8 in your keyboard and I specify the length of the line. I will assign it 23. Here will be the key depth of 3 mm. And the width of key, I will assign the offset of 3mm both side, 3mm right side, 3mm left side. Now close this using line. Look here, look here, and just delete the unwanted. I will delete this line and bring the other TR enter again enter. Sorry. TR enter and again enter. Now click on the items which we don't need. The system and uh, this hole is provided according to the shaft dia. We have to make it reason for extrude. So R is Z and click this all and just enter. Get the system. Now export this using command ext enter and select this all and specify the height of extrusion which is 50 mm enter and uh, to change its sphere click on the remix stick. Here uh, we are unable to see the home so we need to subtract to do this s u p s SUV so you can choose the subtract now select the object and click enter again select the inner object which we want to subtract from this this and click on the enter here you can see this is selected and this gear is ready here we can draw these types of gears and we can also assign the dimension uh, we can go back uh, using we can also go back also, also we can change the directly view from uh, realistic to 2D 2D and click on the top or you can also click here the top and now you can assign the dimensions also here we can assign the dimension click here in the annotation pane and uh, to diameter, to diameter you can set the diameter and click on the circle which we are to so the diameter. Here you can see the diameter um, 110 and uh, you can also assign this uh, so linear here you can assign the width of the key and the also depth of the key. On this point, this is not uh, actually. Um, we need to uh, sign it from reference to its center. So just click here, and now you can see this. And if you can also sign its diameter, one diameter is uh, 40 mm.
to see this uh, itself. Basically, you can just type this. And you can see your gear is ready. Thank you.